in hand, she leaves home in the early morning, waving goodbye with an absent-minded smile. I watch her go with a surge of that well-known sadness, and I have to sit down for a while. The feeling that I'm losing her forever, and without really entering her world, I'm glad whenever I can share her laughter, that funny little girl. Slipping through my fingers all the time, I try to capture every minute. The feeling in it, slipping through my fingers all the time. Do I really see what's in her mind? Each time I think I'm close to knowing, she keeps on growing, slipping through my fingers all the time. Today seemed like a lifetime away and suddenly it's here. And how did it happen so quickly, this wedding day draw near? I wish I could grasp a moment and make the clock stand still so I could let my heart catch up, but I know I never will. All the worries of being a parent, most of the battles won, but no one ever warned me about the day the job is done. Yet there is another side where my heart is not so sad. When I look into my daughter's eyes, I feel joyful and glad. We've dreamt about this day together since you were a little girl about the flowers and the venue and your dress and all the wedding whirl, about your dad walking you down the aisle and who your groom would be. And now that day is here and everything is perfect and your groom is perfect to you. So thrilled, so thrilled and proud Emma and Joe becoming husband and wife. And I wish you every happiness as you begin the adventures of your life. On behalf of the management and staff at Woodhill Hall and in the Thumbrand Registration Service, I'd like to welcome you here for the marriage of Emma and Joe. We're gathered here to witness and celebrate this happy occasion. I'm sure you'll all agree that Emma and Joe have chosen some beautiful surroundings to be married in, also chosen their own music, vows and in the readings to add a very personal touch to their special day. They've even ordered the weather as well, it's absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? <laughs> Family and friends, can I ask you please to be upstanding to welcome your bridal party? Thank you. <laughs> Emma, I promise to give you my love and friendship, to be there for you when you need me the most, to laugh with you to cry with you, to confide and trust in you, to comfort and support you, to share all that I have with you,
to respect you and to be faithful always. These promises I make to you for the rest of my life. Joseph, I promise to give you my love and friendship, to be there for you when you need me the most, to laugh with you, to cry with you, to confide and trust in you, to comfort and support you, to share all that I have with you, to respect you and to be faithful always. These promises I make to you for the rest of my life. The wedding ring is an unbroken circle and it symbolises unending and everlasting love and it reflects the lifelong promises that you've just made here today. I give you this ring as a sign of our marriage. As a sign of our marriage. May it remind us, May it remind us of this moment and the commitment. This moment and the commitment. I have made to you. I have made to you. All that I am. All that I am. I give to you. I give to you. All that I have. All that I have. I share with you. I share with you. Emma and Joe, you have made the declarations by law and have made solemn and binding promises to each other. It therefore gives me the greatest of pleasure to announce for the very first time that Emma and Joe are united in marriage as husband and wife, and you, sir, may now kiss your bride. <laughs> even more than it does to minds. Love, that is the only thing that can occupy and fill eternity. In the infinite, the inexhaustible is requisite. Love participates of the soul itself. It is of the same nature. Like it, it is a divine spark. Like it, it is incorruptible, indivisible, imperishable. It is a point of fire that exists within us, which is immortal and infinite, which nothing can confine and which nothing can extinguish. We feel it burning even into the very marrow of our bones and we see it beaming in the very depths of heaven. What a grand thing it is to be loved. What a far grander thing it is to love. The heart becomes heroic by dint of passion. It is no longer composed of anything but what is pure. It no longer rests on anything that is not elevated and great. An unworthy thought can no more germinate in it than a nettle on a glacier. Thank you very much, thank you very much for that very generous welcome. Um, as those of you here will know, uh, we're involved in amateur theatre like most of us on the top table. I'm used to working backstage, so I'm not used to the spotlight and any attention. But I'll soldier on. <laughs> right, here we go. Once a baby in her arms, Emma's now grown up into such a beautiful, confident and independent young woman. Uh, which has been amazing and absolutely life-affirming to be a part of. And we know that the talent and the drive that she demonstrates in everything that she does, from work and theatre to the beautiful home that she's created for her and Joe, will see her thrive even more. Uh, and we've known Joan since he was little, and some of you, I think, will have seen the photo of Emma and Joe together when they were kids. Little, J little did Joe know then what lay ahead. <laughs> Uh, we've seen them both group together on stage within our group drive and theatrical workshop, which is and always will be a massive part of all their lives, and which appropriately brought Emma and Joe together. If you could all please raise your glasses to Emma and Joe. Thank you. Joe had only one request for his best man speech. He asked for two cunning linguists with stunning English to. <laughs> To master all raiders with class and grace to facilitate the cheerful festivities of this evening's occasions. Yes, the best man should personify strength, class, honour and nobility. 
Unfortunately, he's wound up with us too. <laughs> so it just goes to show, you get what you pay for. <laughs> we couldn't finish this speech without putting at least one line from a musical in there, so... In the words of Grandma Adams, Time, my dear, is a thief. Cherish every moment together, and always remember the joy that you feel on this day. To do to a joy. <laughs> Speaking of Mrs. Coulson, I'm sure everyone will agree that you look absolutely stunning today. Words don't do justice, and I feel privileged that you've said yes. Although, I don't blame you, I am a catch. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, seriously, today... <laughs> Sass. Uh, I'm so happy I got to marry my best friend. Uh, we've had the most amazing journey so far, and when I think back over my life and how you've always been a part of it in ways both big and small, it stuns me to think that we are now husband and wife. Uh, we've done so much already in our nearly eight years together. We have been on numerous adventures, had countless laughs together, and we've made lots of great memories. Uh, I can't wait to make many, many more happy memories with you. They say that your wedding day is the best day of your life, but every day I spend with you is the best day of my life.